Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The weekend is finally here and I have the easiest project for you to try. So I have this pair of, or rather had, <laughs> this pair of oversized jeans. They were my friend's jeans. She got them from Target, but they were too big for her and they cost her like $10. And she kindly gave them to me to make something out of them. And if you've been living under a quarantine rock, mom jeans, mom shorts are back. Everyone's doing it. H&M, Urban Outfitters, they all have a version of mom shorts shorts and mom jeans and I have a tutorial on how to make your own mom jeans from a pair of oversized jeans I will link it down below but today we're going to be making shorts trust me everyone and their mother is wearing this trend no pun intended which I find quite interesting because mom jeans and shorts were cool in like the 90s and the 80s and became super uncool in the 2000s and now they are back like they never left just like that toxic ex who keeps hitting you up and won't leave you alone they're back to stay baby so i decided it's super easy to diy them and it's just a trend and it looks super cute so i'm so here for it so that was a really long intro without any further ado let me show you how to make them so that you can be cool and trendy so you need two things for this diy to work first you need to let go of that toxic ex cancel him and block him and two you need jeans without pockets so my pair of jeans had back pockets which was a bit annoying but I didn't have front pockets so I could work with her and really make her understand my vision so just get one without pockets it's going to be so easy to do this so all I'm doing is I'm marking beside the pocket I'm just making sure I'm not drawing a line through the pocket and then I marked three and a half inches from the side so on my pair of jeans I needed to take in seven inches from the waist for this pair to fit me perfectly so I marked three and a half inches from one side pinned that in place and I'm going to repeat this obviously on the other side and total will be seven inches but once everyone was pinned in place everyone was respecting each other I went crazy so the idea is to draw a curve and take in the jeans at the very top like a chunk of fabric at the top and then narrow that down as you go to the bottom and I just did this up to the area where the jeans hit my hip so I was here for a hot second I really honestly eyeballed it until I thought she looked good and I did this three times to get the proper curve so don't feel any pressure take your time you can be blocking your ex as you do this but just make sure that curve is not extensive and too thick and she's not bringing problems and just interfering with everyone so once I was satisfied with my curve I pinned her in place and I'm just going to sew a straight stitch along her to shut her up for good because she's been talking to the wrong people she's been out here snitching I don't need that so obviously when you get to sewing make sure you backstitch at the beginning and ending of your sewing because we backstitch for good luck and just to pray for 2020 in general and I did a basic straight stitch feel free to do a zigzag stitch if you feel you need more security you have trust issues and you feel like this pair of jeans will try you a zigzag stitch just allows for more stretch but I trusted a straight stitch she was not going to let me down I trusted her with my life and she's not currently the godmother to my children so this worked out fine but if you have issues just do a zigzag stitch and I had to finesse this when I got to the thicker part which is a waistband I had to shuffle her around and make her sit right and make sure you go slow when sewing over thicker denim you don't want to break your needle so take your time you are in no rush just Take it slow and you will be done. So once the straight stitch was sewn, I got rid of the excess fabric beside this stitch. Her contract had expired. We needed a new team member in the building and she was just cluttering our space. It did take a bit of effort to cut through the waistband, but eventually she agreed and left the building on her own terms. And I used that piece of fabric as a template on the other side to make sure I was cutting off an equal amount of fabric. This does not need to look like it got sewn in the dark. You are trying to mimic a trend so you need to make her look good so once my curve was drawn out I made sure to pin her in place so that the fabric couldn't move around as I was sewing and I sewed a straight stitch along the pins and once that was done you are done you're now going to cut off the excess fabric obviously and when you turn this the right way out you are done resizing the waist so now I drew a straight line right above that patch on the knees and I wanted this shorts to be longer than I needed 
head because I was going to cuff them and still make them shorter anyway. But I think the cuff is just what makes it so momish and cool and you are trendy. You're on your way to being an Instagram thought with this trick. So once I cut off the excess fabric, I folded my shorts in half and used the leg as a template on the other side just to make sure everything was nice and equal. And once both pant legs were cut off, you are now done with your pair of shorts. And the final thing to do is cuff them so that you can be as cool as everyone is right now. So cuffing the shorts is the easiest part. You just need to fold this as much as you want. Just go folding it up. I did three folds. I think I even increased it to four because hashtag the whole life is just in me. So just cuff this as much as you like. And the longer your shorts are, the longer you can wear them out and not judge other people for what they choose to wear if they choose to wear theirs super short. However long you choose to wear these is totally up to you. Just don't judge others for how they choose to wear their own shorts. This is why you're watching a DIY. You want to make it to your style. Am I right? Anyway, once you've cuffed them, you now have a brand new pair of mom shorts and you are right on trend with the cool kids and this only cost us $10. I styled my pair of shorts with this gold Chanel belt. <laughs> I'm kidding. If I can't afford a $40 pair of shorts, am I going to afford a Chanel belt, really? It's a golden belt I got off AliExpress for a dollar and I think it adds so much flair to this pair of shorts. It's definitely not real gold, but no one asked you, Mildred mind your business. It looks good and that's all that matters. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I am super happy with this video. The fact that we made this pair from a $10 pair of jeans, whereas I've seen this shorts go for like $48. The Urban Outfitters one are currently on sale for like $39, which is still a lot for me. Your girl is broke and I'm always trying to save money I don't have. So yeah, I'm really happy with this pair and I hope you do try this DIY it is the simplest thing ever. If you do nothing else, just do this DIY and I promise you love it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope to catch you in my next one, but until then, can we go back to 2019? I feel like we all thought 2020 was going to be our year and she just went ahead and just disrespected each and every one of us. So I am officially just resetting to 2021 and I will Will achieve my dreams next year because 2020 is just going some type of way. Anyway, catch you soon. Bye.